So I want to talk about sex. Well, specifically sex education. Hear me out. We know that safer sex education is far more effective at reducing rates of sexually transmitted infections compared to absence-only education. Why? Because it acknowledges that people are unlikely to change their behaviours and it focuses on educating people on how to do it as safely as possible. This is a concept known as harm reduction, an evidence-based approach towards potentially risky behaviours. But in order to implement it properly, we need to have a good, solid understanding of both the community and the behaviours in question. And this is where my research comes into play. Athletic performance enhancers have been used for many, many years, things such as anabolic steroids and fat burners. In fact, from the very first athletic competitions. However, they still remain demonised. We acknowledge that pilots use stimulants in order to stay awake. And we know that orchestra players will use beta blockers pre-concert. And yet, it is the gym goer who is demonised for his use of performance enhancing substances. Stigmatisation of any potentially risky activity is inherently dangerous because it prevents help-seeking behaviour for fear of judgement and getting into trouble. And as a competitive athlete myself, I have seen firsthand what the damage this has done to some of my peers who use these substances. I also know that dissuading people from using these substances is futile for the same reason abstinence-only education is ineffective. Because if somebody wants to do something badly enough, they will find a way to do so. So what is the alternative? For me, that is building on our current knowledge base on knowing more about the user community and the substances they use in order to create viable harm reduction measures. This I achieve by talking to the users to discuss their experiences and motivations in greater depth, as well as running physiological studies in order to understand the effects that these drugs can have on the human body. Forging this connection with the community really helps to close a currently vast chasm between the user community and the academic communities. Because at the end of the day, prohibition has been shown time and time again to be ineffective in many contexts. Think back to, the, to America during the 1920s when alcohol was prohibited and all the problems that came along with that. In my scientific and personal opinion, sport is no different. And what I want to do is work together with the community for both current and potential users, give them the correct knowledge in order to make a well-informed decision and protect their health as best as possible. Thank you.